Hi, welcome to the Improved Garage YouTube channel. I'm sitting here with a giant box, and this is something that I've wanted to buy for a long time. I waited, and it's not really like me to wait, so that creates excitement when it finally gets here. So this is a big box from Obsessed Garage. Uh, arrived today. I ordered it last Friday. Today is Friday, so it took one week. It took them a day to get it shipped out. But what we have here, double boxed, is a package from uh, Dyne Audio. And let's just say, if you're watching this, you probably know how much these cost. If you don't, check out obsessgarage.com. They carry them. Um, I did a lot of research. I spent a lot of time looking. Um, I currently have a set of um, Emotiva B1 Plus bookshelves. They're uh, like a five inch bookshelf speaker. And I've got an SVS SB1000 subwoofer. And the speakers are good. Um, don't get me wrong, they're, they're good speakers. But um, they lose some composition at high volumes. And when I'm out here, I tend to have them cranked quite often because I'm, you know, I'm polishing, I'm vacuuming, I'm doing other things. And I kind of want to be able to hear the music over whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, so I do tend to have them turned up. Recently, I picked up a, a new amplifier, a shit Vidar, uh, which is 100 and it's like 100 watts by two at eight ohms. Um, these are six ohm speakers, so it's going to be somewhere around 150 by two. Um, so that's what these will be powered off of. So I decided to go with the Evoke 20s. Um, I after I went to a local dealer here, a Dynaudio dealer that's in Los Angeles. I'm in like the central part of California. I went to a dealer in Los Angeles. I got the opportunity to listen to the Evoke 10s, which they had on their shelf, and I was very impressed with them. They did not have Evoke 20s. If they did, I would have probably walked out with them that day. Um, and I spent some time going back and forth between the Evokes and the Emits and trying to decide was Evoke right for me or would I be okay with Emit. And I kind of decided that if I settled for Emit, I don't think I would ever be happy with them because I would always wonder if the Evokes were better and how much better they were. So based on that, I decided to just bite the bullet and buy the Evokes. So Obsessed Garage packaged this box inside one of their boxes. Uh, like I said, you know, I, I bought them on a Friday afternoon. They shipped out Monday morning. So here's the Dyne Audio outer box. And then here is the Dyne Audio inner box. So these are officially triple boxed to get to my house. And these are available in four different colors. They have a dark wood, they have a blonde wood, they have a black and a white. Um, at Matt from Obsessed Garage recommendation, I chose the blonde wood. Um, also, uh, there was a YouTube channel I was watching, I think it was Andrew Robinson, uh, where they did a review of the Evokes and they also commented on how handsome the cabinets were as well. So inside the box, we have instructions for use. Dyne Audio instructions for use. Um, really nice color manual. Um, given that these are a pair of speakers and realistically you just connect two speaker wires, uh, seems a little ridiculous, but they, this manual is in probably, I don't know, 30 languages, it's crazy. Safety instructions, warranty extension. To extend the warranty on your Dyne Audio speakers to a maximum of eight years, please register your speakers online at register.dyneaudio.com. So here are the grills in these boxes. Set those here and let's remove this. And what I'll do is I'll pick these up and put them on the workbench and then reposition the camera. So here we have the speakers. Inside these boxes are grills. Uh, I'll kind of show you what one looks like. I'll pull one out. I'm gonna keep these boxed up though because I don't think I'm gonna be using the grills in my installation. Um, so, you know, this is, uh, here's the grill. It's black, it's got rubber, like rubber feet to kind of separate it out from the cabinet. Um, and it does look like um, there's no logo or anything on it. 
So it's nice and clean. Let's unwrap the speaker itself. So these come in a plastic bag that is over a cloth bag. So I will say that they really do package these very, very well. Uh, you know, I've got a box in a box in a box, the speakers in a bag in a bag. It's pretty crazy, honestly. So let's pick this up, get that out of here. And then we'll flip that over. So there it is. Dyn Audio Evoke 20. They come with this cap, remove before use. It's like a magnetic cap that goes over the top of the tweeter. Seems really cool. Um, the grills are magnetic, so that's what it would look like with the grill on it. That's what it looks like without the grill. I love that there's no indentations or anything like that for pins um, and that it's an open design. I'm gonna run them without the grill, so I'm just gonna keep these boxed up. That way in case I ever sell them or something like that, the next person will get the grills and they will be brand new. So let's take a look at the cabinet. So the front has a Dynaudio logo on it. Um, it is a solid piece of wood. So there's no seams, nothing like that. Um, the back, we've got our binding posts. Binding posts seem nice. Um, they're the kind of the clear style. Um, they're five way. They've got a, uh, um, uh, banana plug insert in the center, as well as, uh, you know, you can put a spade underneath them, of course, as well. Um, they are a good size, physical size. Um, they're pretty, pretty big. So, I mean, if we take this and we set it next to our, um, B1 pluses right here. Like, all right. So uh, size comparison wise, I mean, they're, they're much larger than my B1s, um, which, you know, I expect that I'm going to get a much larger sound out of them. Um, better, better dispersion, better imaging, uh, lower bass or, or more mid bass out of them than these. I mean, these are obviously, like I said, I think that's a five inch driver and these are like a six and a half or seven inch driver. So it's, it's obvious there's a pretty big difference in sound. Um, I really do like the Emotivas quite a bit. Um, these are probably going to get used in my home theater. They're not going anywhere. I like them. Um, they're just not, I just wanted something a little bit more substantial for out here where I'm listening. And, you know, I'm sure that people are going to be like, oh, you're crazy. You're spending way too much money on speakers for the garage. But truthfully, I listen to music out here more than I do anywhere else. Um, so given the fact that I listen to music so much out here, um, I just, I, I don't have a problem investing in a sound system that's going to be um, substantial. That's going to be really good. That's going to be the level that my rest of my garage is. I mean, the Swiss tracks are expensive. The cabinets are expensive. Everything in this industry, in this um, hobby is expensive. So I think that these are amazing. Um, so I'm going to get a chance to listen to them. We'll put them into place where they belong. Um, so we'll uh, kind of stick this back in the corner here. Um, they did come with uh, port plugs. So they do have a port in the back of them. And um, sometimes having a port in the back is great. It helps with base reflex, but sometimes in a situation like this where it's gonna be in a corner and there's cabinets and stuff here, it can in increase the base a little bit too much. So um, they do give you these uh, kind of port plugs in the box. They're just pieces of foam that are designed to fit those ports. Um, so I can show you kind of what that looks like. So here's a here's the piece of foam. It's like a little cylinder. Um, and that just kind of goes right in the back here. Um, and it blocks this port to keep sound from coming out. Um, obviously these can be removed, um, but there's, you know, there's only two settings, they're in or they're out. Uh, so we'll see how they work, how they sound, um, if I need them, if I don't need them. And uh, yeah, kind of go from there. But I'm, I'm impressed by the initial quality. I'm impressed by the the packaging, I'm impressed by the, um, the attention to detail that um, seems to have gone into them. Um, they, they, are, they are an impressive speaker. And I mean, just, I mean, just look at that. That is, that is pretty impressive. Um, so obviously uh, we'll get them fired up, have a listen, see how they sound, let them break in uh, and kind of go from there.
Um, but anyway, thank you for watching today. Um, I'll add a separate video. Uh, this is just going to be the unboxing. It's a fairly long video already. Um, so I'll do a second video with uh, my thoughts after spending some time with them. Um, I'll probably wait a couple of weeks before I do that video. So thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.